So I um, just put these foundations in here. Um, not sure if there's a different term for this in English, but basically I poured a little concrete on the bottom of every one so they stand steady and sturdy there because they are 70 centimeter deep. I want them to be as deep in the ground as possible, but our um, ground here is tilting. So um, up there I have it pretty much just a few centimeters above ground level and then they come up. I didn't want to dig into the ground here just because um, it's going to be like a bathtub here. We're going to have a deep bedding and then rainwater and stuff will run in here and stand in here. I, I don't want to dig in. And we'll have to do that if we want to pour concrete here eventually. And we'll do that then, but then you have the concrete foundation there, you know. Right now if you would dig into the ground here it would just be standing water. So instead we raise the foundations at the end there and um, have them all at the same level. We have 2.4 meters in between here. Cows can go in and out there. Um, all our machines, our little machines can fit through here. The little tractor, the quad, the trailers. Up here to the left we have a big opening and also there and there we have a big opening so that we could drive straight through here if we wanted to. Um, so this is done. We'll let it dry, fill in the holes and then we can start working with our lumber connecting it to the house here. Here I am out late in the evening, or it's not late, but way past dinner time at least. And um, the cows are right now on this pasture here. This is one of these fields where I can't do rotational grazing because um, I could do on part of it. But um, up until just now, I didn't even have electricity here. I just connected it, stuck a wire through the street back there, as you can see. And the cattle are here now, but it's always hard whenever there is so much underbrush, so many um, little trees and stuff growing. It's always hard to, to put up mobile fence systems. But the calves, they are still um, little enough. They just go under the wire and they come in our backyard in the morning and in the, in the evening right up there. And they eat the fresh green grass. But they're going to be here for a while. Hi there, little one. And we are going to move them over there to the neighbor's field. We've gotten a little bit of rain, which has helped vegetation. It doesn't, hasn't helped groundwater levels. But with that, um, we have a really nice regrowth of the pastures because they have been dormant pretty much most part of the summer because it was so dry, such high temperatures. So we are um, being, we're, we're able to graze now for a long time. Oh, my son is screaming. Okay, I'm coming. The goose just flew over the fence. I don't know why she does that. So here you see neighbor's property and you see the nice regrowth of the grass. So um, after this field, they're gonna be on here for a couple more days. I'm gonna put them right on here neighbor doesn't want me to do rotational grazing for whatever reason and then um, after that I'm actually gonna put them for a third and fourth grazing on some parts on my property what so hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little update this is one of the typical evenings that we just have here um, everything winding down. Hen Henry is ready for bed, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you're glad it's weekend. Yeah. And I already have school. I already do not have school for two days. You don't have school for two days. And then we have the calves here. <laughs> Let's chase them back. Go. There you go. So the reason I just put electricity here is. Um, they can be without electricity for a day or two and then they figured it out, then they go out and um, one of the cows, Lisa, she just went out. Look at this cow over there. She always looks at me suspicious because she, that's the one um, that was protecting her calf. He's right here, by the way. Did you guys see? You can still see where I shaved him there on the back. 
but he's all healed up and he's doing well and that's his mommy right behind him there so yeah thanks guys hope you enjoyed this i will see you next week bye bye want to say bye henry